and the former New South Wales Treasurer, Matt Keane, joins me now live. Matt, thank you very much for your time this evening. Look, is this, in your view, election interference? Effectively, the ICAC ending Bar Gladys Berejiklian's term as Premier when it's been, at the most, probably a breach of the ministerial code and she may have gone on to win the New South Wales state election against Chris Mintz. Well, Shari, what I'd say is that it's taken ICAC two years with all its resources and millions of taxpayer dollars to essentially tell us that Gladys Berejiklian hasn't broken the law, she's received no financial benefit, and they don't see that her corruption warrants a referral by the DPP for criminal charges. So uh, there are questions that have to be asked here about why uh, they've called her corrupt without referring it to the DPP to face criminal charges. Uh, but I think there are also serious question marks around the process, which has been nothing short of shambolic. I mean, we've seen a situation where there's been two-year delays in telling the public why a democratically elected Premier had to stand her down from her job. Now, um, the question has to be asked, is the ICAC um, a better place to determine uh, the future of an elected Premier than the people of New South Wales? If they did these hearings, if they put them out in the public quickly so the public could assess it, they could form their own judgments at the ballot box. Gladys Berejiklian was denied that opportunity.